got some news out of Arizona. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals, as we all know, got off to a really hot start. They started the year off 7-0, and uh, last undefeated team in the NFL, and we're looking like they're heading straight to the number one seed in the NFC. Unfortunately for the Arizona Cardinal fan base, they lost uh, six of their final 10 games, limped into the playoffs as a wild card before they were absolutely throttled by the Los Angeles Rams in the opening round. Uh, now news has come out that owner Michael, Bid uh, Michael Bidwell of the Arizona Cardinals was obviously not happy with this uh, second half of the season and of the playoff defeat. And he was even unhappier than most owners after a relatively successful season. Uh, there were reports. This is from Kyle Odegaard, who's a former Arizona Cardinals beat writer and reporter said, quote, there was a tense meeting involving Cardinals owner, Michael Bidwell, GM, Steve Kime and coach Cliff Kingsbury yesterday per source. Bidwell was unhappy with the late season slide and intimated changes were possible ish hit the fan. The source said, uh, Bidwell, after the fact, uh, met with the media the next day and was asked about the tense meeting between Kime himself and Kingsbury. And uh, uh, Bidwell said this, we're not going to talk about internal things, but I've had lots of internal discussions that I think have been productive and will improve the team. So I've got a take on this and I'll, I'll give mine and I'm curious what your thoughts are on after that. So the Bidwell family has owned the Arizona Cardinals organization for a very, very long time. And the Cardinals have usually been not very good. Even when they've had good years, like when they went to the Super Bowl with the Rams, they had a couple good years with Arians as head coach. They were kind of like a scrappy underdog, right? They're, you know, they overachieved. They weren't considered, they outperformed their talent level. That's not the case anymore with Arizona. They've got a young, exciting rookie quarterback or a young quarterback on a rookie contract. Ideal situation. Kyler Murray looks like a great player. They're bringing in key veterans. They traded for DeAndre Hopkins, brought in James Conner. A.J. Green, J.J. Watt. They traded for Zach Ertz midseason. Christian Kirk. Everything. Christian Kirk, another guy. They did everything right that you're supposed to do. They got their young quarterback. They got their exciting young head coach to kind of work with that young quarterback, and they built strong veterans around him. This was just exactly how you're supposed to build a team, exactly how you draw it up. And despite all that, they ended up falling apart down the stretch and you know, not even winning a playoff game. So Bidwell, who's owned the team forever, and finally sees a team that actually has a good talent level. He does not want a sense of complacency. He doesn't want them resting on their laurels and feeling happy that they won 11 games. Remember, Kyler Murray's never won a playoff game in the NFL. This is Cliff Kingsbury's first round as a head coach. He was never really a super successful college coach in terms of wins and losses. General manager Steve Kime has one playoff win in his resume. So this isn't like a really winning organization that knows how to handle winning and knows how to handle, you know, building on success for the previous year and, and trying to make deep playoff runs. Bidwell knows this is the most talented roster in terms of just the way it's built that he's probably had in his time as an owner, especially growing up in the Cardinals organization. So I think he's putting the hammer down to intimate a sense of urgency, you know, in the Arizona Cardinals organization, just, just to put in like, put the fear of God, so to speak in the troops, just to get them, you know, Hey, we won 11 games. Let's not act like this is a big accomplishment. Let's focus on next season. What are your thoughts on all this? Yeah, no, I think uh, he has a right to be mad because it's okay. I think it's okay. I think the worst thing you can do as a team uh, is streak, like uh, the Dolphins. The Dolphins were the opposite of the Cardinals. Like they went zero and seven, then they went seven and zero. Okay, they they like did the, the the flip, but the which is fine. But that's the the preferred of the two. Uh, what you don't want to do is go seven and zero and then lose six games. You know what I mean? That that's probably the worst thing that could have happened to the team is to get such a strong start and then completely fall out like apart game after game after game. And after starting seven and zero, you don't even. Not only do you not win the division, but you don't even win a playoff game. Like it's got to, it's really got to, you know take the wind out of Bidwell's sails. He'd be like, oh, we got the team, and we're going to do it, and we're going undefeated, and this is great. And then everything falls apart, and he goes, man, are these even the guys? Like, is this the coach? Is this the quarterback? Like, who, who I have gave them everything. They should be able to compete. They should be the Rams. Uh, the Rams were given everything that they needed, and they're doing successful. You know, wh why can't we be like them? And he has a right to be mad, and I think he was. It was so far that for a period of time, even he threatened to hold like playoff bonuses from them, and I, I kind of agree that 
you can't fall apart that late in the season like that, especially not having that many injuries. I think the biggest injury they had maybe was to James Conner for a little bit. But. Well, they had a few games without Murray there in the middle, but especially down the stretch, you know, especially for the playoff game. Remember, they got J.J. Watt back. They yeah. got James Conner back. It was like all they looking were, up. Yeah, they were gearing up. They had finally got a, a few of their guys back. And, you know, you mentioned that they're withholding or potentially there are rumors that he was holding off on paying the uh, playoff bonus. Again, I actually kind of like this from the owner. What do we want? We want accountability to the coaches and players. So many times we feel like these coaches and players, they don't really care so much about wins and losses. They're just in it for the money. I kind of appreciate, you know, it's like, hey, look, we're trying to win a championship here. Trust me, they're going to get their bonuses. They're going to get their money. It's not like they're not going to get it. But, you know, don't just sit there and be happy that you lost in the opening round of the playoffs and that you get a bonus and feel like, hey, great year, guys. No, this was an underachieving year. And Bidwell has always been used to being an overachiever and being it being hard to win football games. The Cardinals finally have a roster where it should be easy to win football games and great opportunities to make deep runs in the playoffs. And he wants to really put you know a lot of fear into this coaching staff and this general management group and the scouting department saying, hey, look, we had this year, we blew it. Next year is probably the, our window is closing because Kyler Murray's rookie deal next year's year four. You know, we've got a lot of guys, uh, DeAndre Hopkins cap hits going up, Buda Baker's cap hits going up. Like it's going to be harder and harder to build a team. Guys, we can't just be satisfied with making it into the playoffs, being one and done, winning 11 games. He doesn't want to be, you know, a, hey, feel good story. We started seven and oh, he wants to be, you know, like the Bucks, like the like the Packers, like the Saints were for for, uh, for a really long time. A team threatening to make a deep playoff run in the NFC. Yeah, I really like what you said there. And I, I think that's the last point I want to reiterate here. Playoffs are the standard. That's the bottom line, baseline. Like, you got to make the playoffs. If you don't win a game, that's failure. Like, if you're not winning a playoff game, that's a disappointing season. I know a lot of people don't, I mean, a lot of people love to get into the playoffs. But making the playoffs with a team like this is the bare bottom of the barrel. You fail if you don't win a playoff game, and the Cardinals failed this year. They, They absolutely failed.